Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer where today we are in a little bit of a problem predicament type of situation where I've got four builders not doing nothing and really not a lot of loot. I, I've been busy as usual. So uh, we need to get some loot today. Fortunately, the upgrades that we need to do are pretty cheap, but the problem is that because they're cheap, they don't take very long to finish up. So, you know, it's a never ending cycle. But fortunately, the queen is upgrading. So that's good. Um, so only four builders today. Also, we have the king who is now finally awake level 32 and his next upgrade level is 137,000 dark elixir and I've got 77. So the easy math there would be um, 60,000 dark elixir. So we should be able to get that by the next episode. We will just have to see. So um, without really messing around too much first, I guess I should request for some CC and uh, we'll have it for the next raid. So let's go rock a base guys again using our beloved beloved uh, minor attack and I am um, been finding it's it's crazy. It's so, it's so weird Sue so, so it's so weird how you know Sometimes I can log on and bam 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 dead bases massive loot million gold million elixir It's amazing and then other days like today um, I can search for days at a time it feels like and I find nothing so we'll we'll see we'll see what we're able to find today let's uh, let's ooh that's that's a lot of gold well I want more gold I'm, I'm gonna focus more on gold right now and because I'm only in master league it's only a hundred thousand hundred ten thousand gold added to my gold uh, whenever we you know you win win the raid or whatever so and there we go that's a lot better 480,000 gold elixir I need it but not too much dark elixir clearly for the king uh yeah for the next king upgrade so yeah this is good we need a lot of gold so let's do this um and best part is because it's a dead base I get to be super efficient and just throw down miners on a few uh external buildings and get all the loot the base has so let's go ahead and throw down let's go one two one two on each of the gold mines and the elixir collectors just two all right I was doing three for a while but I realized that you don't necessarily need to do that um, unless there's like a hero oh, there does gold right there unless there's like a hero or something in the way otherwise it's pretty simple actually there you go that miner grabs that we have um, the last of the elixir on this side I pop that warden's ability he's gonna be able to snag that and that's going to save 10 miners for the next raid which is super awesome because you so I always forget we get like how many how many miners do you get like 40 or whatever so that means that uh, we'll go and close out before the you know Grand Warden takes too much damage but there you go with 33 miners and I had 10 that I didn't use so that means I have 43 total but with 33 miners that was a lot of loot 480,000 gold 465,000 elixir 3300 dark elixir it is just peachy keen all right it's peachy so maybe I can get my, the rest of my miners cooking up that means hey we'll be able to do three live raids today which is awesome so why not well we get a minute and 50 seconds before the warden wakes up so let's show this right here I, ha I was watching this one earlier and I thought this is funny so check out this base guys town hall 11 right we have an eagle artillery sitting on the outside so what I'm trying to do here is this base has 6,500 dark elixir upgraded um uh, dark elixir drills no only the top ones actually maxed out the other two aren't so this one could have been even more the thing is with that external eagle artillery it makes it so much easier to be able to snag uh the loot because the the miners hate the eagle so being able to take it out before it pops off a shot is just amazing so there we go one dark elixir drill goes down we're gonna get the one at the top and then the rest of the troops are gonna dive in to get this third and final dark elixir drill and then finally the dark elixir in the storage I wasn't focusing on gold with this base because this base doesn't have a lot of gold but it does have a lot of dark elixir so poisoning over the queen slow her down or slow the damage that she does down uh, healing over them as well warden's ability just because it's basically an extra healing spell and uh, we want both heroes to go down we want the core to go down and we want honestly for the town hall to go down but I didn't plan that far ahead I didn't I didn't uh, funnel for that so the dark elixir storage goes down we got 6,000 dark elixir but what we don't have are any troops going for this the town hall which is a big bummer uh, so I was trying my best like healing like the three miners at the top thinking go up go up go up get away from that archer tower but no they all kind of veer off to the right and down and unfortunately, I'm not able to get anything onto the town hall. But that's only 500 dark relics that we missed out on, so that's okay. Uh, but yeah, it works out really nicely. We get all the way to the back uh, second layer of the defenses outside the core on the back side of the entry point. Not bad. And then I'll let the warden kind of die out because he, you know, I wasn't going to attack for a little while. And I liked that he was getting that gold storage. And then I thought maybe he'll get the expo. No, definitely not going to get the expo. 
So there you go. Lots of Dark Elixir, guys. Um, it's 6,000. 6,000 per raid is kind of crazy. And it can be done. It happens on occasion. So uh, there we go. Burned enough time. The Warden woke up. Let's go. Let's find another base. And also, you know, with the um, only using a few miners in our first attack, burning a little bit of time, we'll be able to do a third attack today, which is awesome. So let's try to find another base with lots of gold because we need that gold. Uh, Dark Elixir because we want to upgrade that king as soon as possible. And then Elixir just because our army kind of costs a lot of Elixir. So as usual, we kind of need every resource that the game has to offer. Even gems, but unfortunately, Supercell hasn't listened to me, and they haven't given us a way to farm gems off of people's bases, which would be amazing, but you can't do it. Um, 4,400 Dark Elixir. This is a Town Hall 12. Um, not a full 12. It's a level 3 Giga Tesla, so it's not like a full Town Hall 12. But it has a lot of Dark Elixir, kind of easy to get to, and a lot of gold and Elixir. I say we take on this base. Um, yeah, so let's go... Um, let's go... Poison and King. Okay, so this King should be able to handle both of these heroes because they're under poison. Slows down their output of damage. So there we go. Both heroes go down and potentially our King will also be able to get the Dark Elixir out of this drill. We'll just have to see. No, he's only level 32. I always forget. <laughs> I always forget that he's not that great. He's not level 32. I mean, it's good, but it's not great. So now let's go uh, two miners on this side. They should be able to handle this, no problem. Wow, that tells us. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the man, that Tesla, and then the Arch Tower over there. It's just crazy how much damage output these guys do. Anyway, so miners on this side now. The, the town hall and the uh, storage and everything is on this side of the base. So let's try to keep heals on everything that's got some sort of splash damage. And of course the eagle artillery as well. So this is a this is a big fish to take on, man. But I'm uh, I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm hopeful that we can just not lose. All right. There's that warden's ability. Right when the uh, warden or the eagle's sh uh, shot goes down, let's heal over there. Let's heal right there. And finally, let's heal right there. That's going to be all the dark relics that the base had to offer. And as we go along and we pick up the mines and such. Uh, we're also getting quite a bit of gold, so that was awesome. I don't regularly hit 12s. So I made that point before, uh, but sometimes it's kind of fun. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, let's do. Let's do this. I love it. Take out that eagle. Come on. Oh, there's no way. Yeah, they're they're never gonna get to the eagle. And then the warden's getting wrecked. Let's go ahead and close up before the warden actually dies. There you go, guys. With that loot bonus, that was 5,000 dark elixir over or nearly half a million gold and elixir. Bada bang. Bada boom. Only 47% one star, but who cares? It's all about getting that monies. All right, it's all about getting that monies. So how are we doing right here, guys? Uh, we have nine seconds before our next miner is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a partial army. And we're going to do it one more time. All right, so right there and bam. All right, the miner's done. We got 20 miners. Now, I've shown that we can take out all the loot out of a dead 11 with like 30-something miners. But what about a dead 10? Wow, that was almost perfect. That, that, that is perfect. I mean, so the base design is not ideal. Uh, some of the, like most of the dark elixir is on the inside and stuff, but we can still with 20 miners, I think we can do a pretty decent job. I'm actually going. Uh, I'm actually going to use some healing spells too. So let's go ahead and put down three and three right here. I'm hoping that some of these miners will uh, will dive in and get the dark elixir. All right, there's that. I'm going to poison over the king. We'll put one more miner, and that's going to be the dark elixir. That's going to be the the uh, Gold and this elixir, and we'll also get this dark elixir too. So this is working out good in our favor. And let's get one heal out here. That's going to guarantee that dark elixir drill, and then I want to get the last one. Or do I want to get some gold? Um, that's a lot of dark elixir. I think I've got enough gold, actually, to get all the upgrades I need to do done. So let's go ahead and focus on the dark elixir right now. All right, so we'll heal them up, and hopefully they charge in and get this Dark Elixir out of this drill. Um, and I'm actually saving? Never mind. Dang it, they split off. Bummer. Stupid miners. <laughs> ah, the worst. Okay, well, maybe... Yeah, this one's going to get a little bit of Elixir, at least. Anyway, so that's what you end up doing when you only have 20 miners out of uh, the 43 that you're supposed to have. But it's okay. It's all good. We still got a lot of loot. Where's where's the... Oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Nicely done. 28%. So we did not even give them a shield. You have to get a 30% for that. And there you go. With only 20 miners, we still got nearly 3,000 Dark Elixir. I would have liked more, but it was less than a full... It was less than half of a full army, which is pretty crazy. So anyway, 
Awesome. So we spent all of our miners. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close all that out so where it doesn't uh, annoy you guys while we're filming. And let's bounce into now our progress base. All right. So what are we going to upgrade? Obviously, we're going to keep doing the 1 million gold upgrades, the, the, both the cannons. We're going to get them the, the last two going to level 10. And then the cheapest upgrade bounces up from 1 million to 1.2 million. And those are the wizard towers that we mentioned in the previous episode. So that means we can go ahead and get these cannons over with right now in 3, 2, 1, bam. And then, of course, 3, 2, 1, bam. All right, so now these wizard towers, the grind continues, guys. Let's upgrade one. We'll have one more builder left, and then we'll see what we've got left after that. So let's upgrade this, guys. 1.2 million gold, one day upgrade. Holy cannoli, this grind is insane. Let's go in three, two, one, bam. All right, so do we have enough dark elixir for anything? I don't. Do I have enough elixir for anything? I do, but um, the laboratory is good for another eight days, so I could technically upgrade. Let's go ahead and do two walls with elixir just for the fun of it. That no 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 not that one not that one son there we go five two million elixir and three two one bam I like to leave a million left over just because I can so I can afford walls or uh, miners in the army and such all right so our elixir is pretty much empty let's upgrade this wizard tower for gold one more upgrade one day all these have been one day upgrades uh 1.2 million gold and three two one bam and there we go that's another four builders put onto these defenses we're making some massive progress on defense lately guys i mean with heroes with um with the with the warden finishing i've noticed that that happened because the warden was always using up the fifth builder uh so we only had four builders and if i got my king and my queen going then we only had two builders on uh on actual defenses now it's at least three on defenses which is a lot faster and since i didn't have the dark elixir for the king we actually had enough for four so interesting stuff guys interesting stuff the grind continues but it's working very nicely we've been able to keep all five builders rolling for a while now and i like it i like it a lot and uh with those cannons finishing up now the wizard tower being the next what's after the wizard tower we have 1.2 million i think it's the air sweepers 1.25 yeah. All right. So after the wizard towers, we'll move on and we'll do the level three air sweepers at 1.25 million. That is the plan. And that's uh one, two, three, four, which is what, how much we had today or potentially five builders. So it may be next episode. We'll be able to finish up all that. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. But guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.